Kia ora, welcome back. So I'm going to now show you how to take one of the the boxes that we've created and um, rotate it. So let's zoom in here. Uh, here we go. So with, here's our result and here's our two boxes. So I'm going to want to rotate this one. So if we come up to transform and then uh, under this one we can see rotate so we only need to rotate it in there so we've got a few inputs so the first one is the geometry so let's uh, bring the box here into geometry and you can see that sort of basically copies that so we will, let's just turn that off so we can't see that then um, it's got a plane and an angle. So the plane is sort of the point uh, where we're trying to rotate from. At this stage, uh, it's just doing it from the center there, but we could actually bring in, because we've got a plane in here, which is the point. So we could bring this down into that there. So it's, it's rotating from that angle if we want. Uh, now, we need an input for the angle so um, we could do a slider and that's probably what I would normally do but part of this is just showing you some of the other options that we can do so under params or parameters we've got input and there's one here which is a control knob so we can come and put that in so let's just move that uh, down to here and similar to the slider that comes in with uh, uh, sort of similar limit so between one and or the minimum zero to um, to one I guess is the range so let's just change some of these things we don't want decibel numbers so we can just bring that back to zero so we're just doing between zero and one but we actually want the range to be 360 so we can rotate it right around so 360 set that there uh, and the maximum we also want to be 360, 360, set that there, um, and we can change this to, let's just call it, rather than control knob, angle. So now if we can just move that around, you can see we can set an angle. And um, by default, uh, the way Grasshopper works is it uses radians for the degree for for angles so we need to convert that because otherwise we get kind of this uh, weird thing going on which is not too clear so if we just come over here we can right click on on uh, the left hand side so where it's got angle and then come down and set it to degrees there so you can see little degrees so now when we come back and we rotate this you can see it's oh, that's my fault come on why is that stopped let's click on this again here we go so we can rotate around there so you can sort of see see the the difference and if we just come up you can see sort of where that's sitting so then we can come in and adjust all of these um, we might think actually let's just change we don't need to be to a nearest millimeter so we can come in here and set this just to two decimal places um, and that will be to the nearest 10 millimeters so just depending on what you're trying to do um, that can be quite helpful so we can Sort of adjust that here as well so um, makes it a little bit more convenient so I'm um, sort of maybe let's put that something like that so we can figure out where we want our cut so now if we come back up at the moment we've got that original one um, so we can just replace 
uh, the original box 2 with our rotated box and that will now give us a new result which we can then come and right click on the center of that and hit bake and let's do that layer 5 and hit OK and we can come and uh, uh, select it here and you can see uh, because I hit the gumball before it's turned off so I can just come and mouse over that and turn it back on and that allows us to move that out so we've got the result um, we can also turn off our, our rotated one here so we can just see the result going we've got something else so we can turn this one off as well so you can sort of see um, what we're working with so we can come back all the way across here and move some of these dials so uh, um, depending on what we're trying to achieve so I might quite like that one so I can come back and bake that out bake and I'm going to do that layer 5 as well um, and then select that and move that across so uh, now we've got the two shapes okay that's enough for now and we'll do some more uh, ways of dealing with this later on